Hey guys, Bad Infos here. As you know, on this channel I mainly do GTA 100% walkthroughs. I go into detail on how to complete the missions the most interesting, fastest and best ways. About a month ago I completed my GTA 5 100% walkthrough and today I decided to give you a short informational video with a 100% checklist. Here I'll discuss everything you need to know about the game, how you should start your own playthrough I'll give you some pointers, tell you what you should avoid doing, what order you should do the missions in, and show you all the rewards you get after 100% completion. Completing only the main story missions is not enough in order to get 100%. There are also many side missions scattered around the whole map. In my walkthrough I cover every single aspect of getting 100% completion, but here I'll show you the whole list of requirements. The specific thing about GTA 5 is that even though many things are required for 100%, it's not necessary to do them all. For instance, we have 58 strangers and freaks, but only 20 will give you a percentage and you choose which ones to do. I'll go more into detail about that a bit later of course. Oh, and one last thing, GTA 5 contains the most side missions not required for 100%. Things such as Travers and Michael's Strangers and Freaks, hunting, playing time trials and many, many more. So if you don't see a mission listed here, don't ask for it in the comment section. It's not listed here for a reason. And lastly, getting a gold medal and a 100% in each mission individually is not required for 100% game completion. You could get bronze in each mission and still get 100% overall. So, with all this said, let's begin with the 100% requirements. Number 1. The Main Story Missions There are exactly 69 main storyline missions in the game and you need to complete them all, starting from Prologue and finishing it off with either the third way, something sensible or the times come depending on which ending you choose. Number 2. Hobbies and Pastimes We have 59 of them, but for 100% you need to complete 42. I'll list them all and you can pick which ones to do yourselves. They are Complete all emanation challenges for the 6 gun classes for the Los Santos Gun Club. Getting a bronze medal with each weapon in each class is enough. Only one character is required to do it. You have to win a game of golf, win a game of tennis and win a game of darts no matter which opponent you choose to battle. Get a private dance at the strip club. You need to win all 3 triathlons, win all 5 races in the game, win all 6 off-road races marked on the map, win all 4 sea shark races. You need to complete all 12 flight school courses and get at least a bronze medal on each one. Gold is not necessary and you need to do it with only one character. And lastly you need to complete all parachute jumps marked on the map. The landing accuracy can be any number as long as you land properly. Number 3. The Strangers and Freaks There are 58 missions total, but only 20 are required for 100%. Focus only on Franklin's missions because Michael's or Trevor's don't give you a percentage. The ones which do are all 5 missions for Tonya, all 6 missions for Beverly, all 4 missions for Dom, the racing introduction mission for How. Barry has 6 missions total, but only the 4 Franklin ones give you a percentage. Similarly, Mary Ann has 3 missions total, but only one, which is given to Franklin, gives you a percentage. Both the introduction and closing cutscene for Omega. And finally, watch the introduction cutscene to Peter Drufus. Number 4. The Random Events There are 60 random events in the game, but only 14 are required for 100%. You choose which ones to do, here is the full list. ATM Robbery The two bike thefts in the city Vinewood Bus Tours Construction Accident Countryside Robbery Crash Rescue Deal Gone Wrong Domestic Drug Shootout The two drunk drivers The four hitch lifts, rogue altruists, 
luring Gru into alley, the two prisoner lifts, stack do running men, the paparazzi escape, gang ambush, four leaf clover, the three mugging missions, the two shop robberies, snatched, sport bike thief, Simeon Yotarian, the two abandoned vehicles, the two arrests, the three border patrols, buried, the two car thefts, the two thief chases in the city, and again two chases in the countryside, and finally the 10 security van heists. Number 5. The miscellaneous activities. There are 30 total, but doing 16 of them is all you need. There are 20 available properties in the game, and you need to purchase 5 of them. You need to visit the website and purchase a vehicle. Any vehicle will do. You need to collect all 50 spaceship parts in the game. Similarly, you need to collect all 50 letter scraps. You need to walk and play fetch with Franklin's dog, Chop. Phone one of your girlfriends and complete a booty call. Pick up a prostitute and pay for her service. Hold up a store. Visit the cinema. Fly underneath 25 bridges on the map. There are 50 total, but only 25 are required for 100%. Complete 8 out of 50 knife flights with any plane. Complete 25 out of 50 stun jumps on the map. And lastly, you need to invite a friend to a bar, the cinema, the strip club and to a darts game. And that completes the 100% checklist for GTA 5. And now I'll show you the best order of completion with no spoilers. When you start off GTA 5, you're presented with the prologue mission right off the bat. You need to complete the prologue and the mission Franklin and Lamar immediately afterwards in order to unlock the ability to save the game. At this point you only have access to Franklin, so the first thing you wanna do is to complete the emanation shooting range. Doing so grants you discounts at the gun store. At this point, even though it's not required for 100%, I suggest you collect all available 11 money packages and use the stock market. I go for about 10 million bucks usually, which is enough as a start. The stock market guide is in the description of course. Doing any other side missions right now is not necessary, as you won't get any reward, so just continue doing main missions, pass complications to unlock Michael, and again complete the shooting range. But with Michael this time so he would get a discount. Do the hidden package and the stock market trick again if you want to, and continue doing main missions until you reach the jewel store heist. Any time before that mission, I suggest you find a random encounter which unlocks Packy McCreary. Now start the jewel store heist using Karim, Packy and Ricky. Using these guys will give you the biggest profit. Complete it and unlock Trevor as a playable character. After completing his first mandatory mission, you are free to save the game. Just like before, even though it's not required, to do it with each character for 100%, I suggest you pass the shooting range challenge with Trevor too, as that gives you discounts. Just like the last two, in order to get a few million, I suggest you collect all the hidden packages and gamble on the stock market to get a big paycheck. At this point, no side mission will help you out, so just continue doing main missions and don't stop until you reach minor turbulence. Complete that mission, and now it's time to tackle the remaining Lester assassination missions available, because all of them would be unlocked at this point. So far you have only done the mandatory one, but since now you should have like 10, 20 or even 100 million by abusing the stock market, like I showed in my walkthrough, this is the time to max out your cash with each character. Yes, by following the appropriate video from my walkthrough, you get max cash with each character and not have to worry about money ever again. And this is the time to do it. So now continue the main storyline and complete it. Since you have max or close to max money, I don't need to tell you which crew members are the best to use for heist or that you can unlock new ones by finding them on the road. But like I said, just complete all the main storyline missions, do any remaining side missions you have missed and congratulations, you are now 100% complete. 
The rewards for 100% completion are as follows. A new shirt in Franklin's wardrobe which shows 100%. An FIB UFO will spawn at Mount Chiliad, Fort Zancudo and Sandy Shores. The mission The Last One unlocks. And finally, golden peyote plants will start appearing on the map. If this sounded confusing to you guys, make sure you watch my 100% walkthrough where I give an in-depth explanation about every single mission and activity in the game. Lastly, if you found this video useful, I encourage you to rate it accordingly and subscribe to my channel for future tutorials and walkthroughs. Thank you so much for watching and a very special thank you to my lovely Patreon supporters Charles the Chowder, Alex Chavez and Max Robinson. Thank you so much for the support. Support.